Hey, this is Matty Turpin, Mix and Master My Song uh, Today, I want to go over a video on how to get all your levels the same after you've done a, you know, you got three or four songs and you want to present them to somebody, but you know, you can't afford mastering or you don't want to do it until you get the whole album done. You can just do a quick kind of thing on your own and bring up the overall levels of all your songs so they all kind of sound the same because nothing sounds worse, you know, when you're playing music for somebody when one song comes on and the next one comes on and it's lower and then the next one comes on and it's way louder. It's really hard to kind of like, you know, feel the cohesiveness of a project that way. So here's just a quick way. Um, you can use this limiter that comes with Pro Tools, or it's called the, the Maxim. And it pretty much just kind of, you know, limits, uh, brick wall limits your, your song. So it brings the overall volume up. And uh, it's free, comes with Pro Tools. I got some other plugins on this because I'm actually mastering this song. But um, there, you know, we can even bypass them for now. Um, so what this is going to do is, you know, I'll play a little bit of this. So these three songs were already mastered. And then this is a new song that was added. And it's not mastered. You can actually probably tell just by looking at the waveforms. Um, well, actually, it was mastered at another place, but we're remastering it to fit more with these three. So, um, but we'll just bypass those for now just so you can just hear the maxim <clears throat> and kind of get an idea of how it could work. Uh, so here's like one of the songs that are mastered. Me and my child having a peace pipe with you. Uh, and then here's the song that's not. So you can hear right off the bat the volume's way different, it's way lower. Um, and by the way, this is this artist Sean Moolah I've been working with, and he's a very talented guy, doing some really cool and creative stuff with music. Um, so make sure to check him out once this comes out. But anyway, so let's unbypass this and just play a few five seconds of this because it's not released yet. And all you're going to do is pull up your threshold. And you'll see your attenuation over here. It's going to start poking. I don't ever bring this down more than negative six because then it really starts sounding crunched and pumpy and weird and I'll bring it down really low so you can hear it. I'm going to bring the ceiling down. This is your output level just so you can hear the difference. So you hear how crunchy that sounded and just awful. So you don't want to you don't want to have this thing hitting too hard. It's not like, you know, when you're compressing something and you want it get a good punch out of it. It's a different beast and you just you don't want it to get too hard. So so there it is. So right now, my tribe having a peace pipe Already we can hear the volumes come up a lot. But it might not be enough, so what you can always do is add another one and just back that off even more. It's not much, but we got an extra dB of gain, so... And so there you go. They're both kind of a lot closer in level now. And you can play this for somebody and present it to them. And, you know, if you're making beats or something, just throw this on at the end of your session is to bring it up to a, a little stronger level. Um, <clears throat> one thing to note, though, <clears throat> is if you are going to use this thing, make sure your original levels aren't super loud because it's not going to do much for you. It's going to start um, attenuating right away. So just make sure that your levels aren't distorting or in the red already before you try to use one of these things because it's, it's not going to do what it's supposed to do so hopefully that helps you know if you're just you got some beats or some, some songs you're trying to demo for somebody um you can do this really quickly and we'll get all the levels the same i mean i don't suggest using this to put your album out i really think you know proper mastering by a mastering engineer is the way to go but just for some demos and stuff it's a good way to get things going so uh, if you got any questions, make sure to hit me up. And if you need any songs, Mix and Master, check us out at mixandmastermysong.com. Okay, thanks.